I was in LA last year, I think, and um, I never really thought about doing any kind of commercial before. I was always kind of didn't. I was always kind of too self-conscious or something. I didn't really know the, why I would do it. Some other people from Dior came and I met them in LA. And they were expressing how they were, wanted to do something new with the, with the fragrance and the campaign and something different and kind of slightly dangerous. And, um, and they were willing to collaborate a lot with you know, who the photographer was, who was going to shoot the commercial. and. Um, yeah, and it all just suddenly seemed much more exciting, and I just really liked the people as well, so it kind of seemed like a good idea. I think Dior, like, in a very ridiculous way, I like the idea of being associated with French people. I don't know, there's something, there's something quite timeless and elegant about Dior, um, and I don't know, I just felt quite... It felt like quite a big honour to be asked to be involved with it. And, it was, and also, everybody else is associated with Dior, even now, I mean, it's a good group to be associated with. I started talking to Roman for a long time about the, the concept. Well, actually before that, we were talking to everybody at Dior. And I had, I quite strongly felt that I wanted to work with Roman Gavras. Um, I'd wanted to work with him for a long time before and I couldn't really find a thing to do with him. Um, and I got involved with that, and I, I remember bringing up his name, and everyone was like, Oof, I don't know about Roman Gavras, <laughs> like it's too, like it's maybe a little bit too far out there. As soon as everyone agreed to it, I started to think, wow, we want, everybody wants to do something kind of on the same page. I mean, we're all thinking of doing something really different, because Roman's style is so um, violent, and from what I'd seen, and I was thinking, it's not, that doesn't really go with fragrance commercials. I wanted to do something different for, for me, just, I mean, regardless of anything else, I wanted to do, um, I felt like my career as an actor was going in a certain direction, and I kind of, I felt like working with Roman and also doing something which is quite, um, quite mainstream, but also edgy, I think it would it kind of fit it into where I want my life to go. And, um... So I started talking to Roman about where, what we could do with the, you know, with the, the lot of we, Dior gave us a lot of freedom to do, kind of whatever we wanted basically, and um, didn't want to make something kind of posy, like not very modelly. I mean, um, wanted to do something that had some anger to it and had some kind of had a bite to it and sexy as well. I mean, I was kind, of, I didn't think that you know a lot of. Uh, fragrance commercials, they have like a distance between the viewer and and, uh, and the people in, in the commercial. And I wanted to have something which was really visceral, and I think that's kind of Roman's style. And, um, and it seemed like the further we went when we were shooting, no one really ever stopped us. Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think the campaign definitely feels different. I mean, it doesn't feel so... It doesn't feel too grown up. I mean, a lot of the... Uh, I think a lot of the advertising for Dior Home Before is quite classic, and and this is I, I think just Roman's style is very uh, zeitgeisty. I mean, that's what I liked about him. He seems really, really of the moment, and his his style really connects to young people at the moment. So hopefully, hopefully it still will. Yeah. We were emailing a lot, and we um, and we went through a ton of different music choices, and. Uh, uh, yeah, just kind of, just, we were sort of trying to develop a kind of character. I hope we were talking about uh, how can you have that attitude of young Jean-Paul Bamundo um, in a modern day context, which is impossible to do, <laughs> but some of, the, uh, some of the elements that he kind of had when he was younger, or throughout his whole life, uh, that kind of not giving a shit attitude, that's kind of... That's kind of, yeah, what we were trying to get with that. And I think that's kind of how Roman thinks as well, and Nan Golden. Like, uh, yeah, so we're trying to capture that essence. The Dior Homme man is, um, I think, someone who's just a, a little bit wild. I mean, a little bit kind of does whatever he wants. He's a bit of a free spirit. Um, not really scared of anything, can kind of be whoever he wants to be at any time. Just someone who lives life on his own terms completely. 
Yeah, he's like the kind of guy who gets into fights in a tuxedo. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I mean, hopefully, anyway, that's hopefully that's how people interpret it. Um, yeah, there's something, yeah, there's something innately elegant, and well, especially in people who, in, in foreign people's eyes about French people, but they kind of seem very classy 100% of the time. Um, and I think even though there's a lot of energy and a lot, the, the commercial is very visceral, it kind of, it does still have very natural elegance to it. Um, and I think that's very French. A lot of good memories. I mean, I turned up terrified. I mean, I've just always been so scared to do anything like this. And I just thought I'd be so self-conscious. And right from the first second, I drove along uh, the beach in, um, in uh, Rockway Beach. It's like just at 90 miles an hour and a tiny little BMW with, with the cameraman inside the car. I mean. It started off, I mean, everything was very fearless about it. And, and it kind of felt quite wild when we were shooting. As soon as I heard that she was the choice, I was like, done. I mean, no questions asked. I couldn't even believe she was doing it. And also, this is the same thing. It's kind of, she doesn't seem like the typical person who you'd shoot a campaign with, especially like a massive campaign. I mean, it's brave. It's a brave choice. Um, and it was kind of, yeah, she's very free-spirited and kind of fit in with the whole ethos of the campaign. I always really recognize the scent of London. Whenever I land there again, it's really, really, really familiar to me, and I really miss it when I'm away. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Quite wild. Um... Hopefully pretty sexy. <laughs> um, something quite elegant but fast-paced about it and uh, quite visceral and powerful, I think. I've always been kind of obsessed with French cinema since I was really young. Um, it's kind of what got me into cinema, like film as a whole, even before I was acting or anything. Um, I watched a lot of Goddard when I was younger. And then I then recently Odia, I've just kind of been. I watched the beat that my heart skipped in in, uh, in New York when I was nineteen or something or twenty. And it was just like whoa. I mean, in a lot of ways, I tried. I was trying to me and Roman were using that as a bit of inspiration for the for the movie. That kind of gritty but very beautiful um, tone, which Odia does really well.